and Face It Black. Welcome back to the channel. Like I always say before, thank you to everyone that has subscribed. I greatly appreciate it. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install window tint on the back glass of a solid window with rubber seals, no matrix. Now I know a lot of these older trucks like the Fords and Chevys had the rubber seals, they didn't have any matrix. So they used to be kind of a pain in the rear end to get done because you know it's so much easier to just hide the film around the matrix. But I've been doing a lot of these lately and they really aren't that bad. Just a couple of key things I think you gotta keep in mind when you do them and you'll be all right. So the back glass is the last window I have left to do in this truck. I did a visor strip, I did the front two, I did extended cap windows. Those pop out, you know how those are. Those are kind of a pain too. And I gotta do this solid back rear window. One of the things I like to do when I do these trucks is when you use your blade and you're cutting the film around the outside seal, pop your blade out just a real small little click. That's all you need. You don't need to thin your blade out, blade out really large. Just a little click to just give you a little bit. Um, it'll help get the window tint inside of the edge of that seal on the outside. And then when you put it in the inside, your tint will be really close. And another thing is you have to clean these extremely well because a lot of times people do not clean around the seals of those back windows at all. So it'll be a lot of dirt. So I scrub with the toothbrush. I scrub a lot. I'll take my blade. I'll run it through that channel. I'll get it as clean as best I can do. I mean, you can only do so much. Me personally, I've seen some people take these black glasses out, but I'm not going to take this out. And honestly, this customer told me he's selling the truck. He just wants to get tint out to make it look better and it's gonna go on to a new owner. So hang out with me, follow along, and let's get this back glass done.
So I finished this truck up and I gotta say one of the most important things I think with doing some of these older back glasses like this, um, you gotta just get it clean as you can. As you see, I was scrubbing and scrubbing and scrubbing um, the back window on this truck just to try to get it clean because it usually has so much dirt in there. Um, you gotta just scrub it really good back there. Take a paper towel, try to soak up all the moisture that you can get. Um, I know some people will spray the film, don't spray the glass. I like to spray the glass so I can really move it around and get it right where it needs to be or else sometimes the tin will get bunched up and that'll cause you problems. But really, with these things, just try to clean as best as you can. 
um, because that's going to be your main enemy is going to be that dirt and that contamination is going to zip its way right back up into the film. So like I said, just clean really well. Only click out just a little bit of blade. Keep it right in that channel really slow. Take your time. There's no rush. And take that piece to the side. I reverse rolled it on the glass. Uh, most of you guys that know I've been subscribing, you know I got reverse roll videos. So I just unroll it right onto the back glass, position it really well, squeeze it in, get it down, and try to get as much of that moisture out of those uh, channels because that moisture is going to sit inside those rubber seals. And I always say thank you guys. Smash that subscribe button. I got more content coming soon. Um, I'm trying to show you guys things that I don't see a lot of on YouTube. Um, you know, everyone does things in their own way. And I greatly appreciate you guys uh, following Fade the Black. Once again, see you in the next video. Stay faded.